You know, I was going to mention it. Uh, I did, we, things just kind of happened too fast there that I thought Entus misplayed uh, that, what was it, the third or fourth circle that finally shifted them outside of the compound, the one that they kind of shared with BSG for a little while. Mm -hmm. I think they needed to do a better job of gatekeeping BSG because they had a slight, slight advantage on position in that circle, but they just kind of sent it into the circle <clears throat> a little bit ahead of BSG, and then they, and they end up getting pinched because of that. I think they could have waited a little bit got a better angle in, into VSG's escape route, and then made them pay for it. This plane path is going to be a very, very um, western shift. It might be a uh, brutal one coming into the northwestern side. But for the time being, you can't see the total ranks on your right side. Griffin with 208, Genji with 195, VSG with 188, and 178. So it could be Damon Gaming that could steal the spot from Memphis. Right. As uh, there's only 20 points gap, and there's yeah. still nine more games to go. Yeah, and that's very doable. It's very, pass it's very possible. Easily. No problem. I mean, I'd say if you're within 50, 60 points, you, you very much are within a good shot, uh, if you have a good day, of getting into one of those top spots. So keep our eyes on all of that. Like we mentioned, the plane path kind of a little bit shifted over to the west this time. And where will the circle be? Is it going to be west or nope? That's east. gonna be a southeast. Far east. Southeast. <laughs> we have this backup plan. We got like, plenty of them. Yeah. Trust we me. Got like, like we got like five different clients to back it up. So we, that was just a couple seconds of a. You, you guys, you guys saw nothing, okay? We, we, we were talking man and like, like zap and you, 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 you forget everything. <laughs> but Quadro to take the beat down onto APK. Raining's gonna suffer from a knock and Yacha wanted to go huge and that's gonna be raining down. Mixura will find a knock onto Remba in the meantime. Suddenly Raining's gonna be down and dusted and that's gonna be Yoke from afar to finish off the kill. Keep and Renbo Quadro, alive. Quadro, can they do it? The okay. nade. Keep Renbo alive. Somebody help oh. Renba. He takes some good damage from that one. A second one coming through. That could be it for Renba. Or was that just a smoke? I think that was just a smoke. I don't think that was a frag. Or if it was a frag, it was way off from Magzora. Magzora taking a bunch of damage. Quasi what, either ran over Yacha? Oh my god, what in the world? Where? Just what? right below. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Quadro. Oh no, Juanita is going to finish Yacha. Delax down as well. It is all up to Yowook. Somehow, APK has fended this off. It looked like it might be tricky for them, but Juanita with the 200 IQ splatter comes through and opens the door here for APK. I thought we were playing PUBG, not GTA. You're uh, not supposed to run over people there. And Magzoro is going to find the angle. Just might be enough as there's another member to kind of flank from afar, and that's going to be APK to finish off Quadro, and Quadro is going to be down at 16th place as they were only sitting at like 115 points, if I remember correctly. Alka 5 must be careful though, as he was kind of anchoring at the edge of the circle, so they might be rotating in. VSG is going to be crashing into Damwon Gaming, or is Damwon Gaming crashing in? Doesn't matter. Hulk wants to find a good angle. He Oof. pops a nade. Yeah, we'll see. Here comes the rest of VSG. Kreese has an AK. He's not able to control it. It's pretty great AK. A headshot. Oh, Mental comes up behind them, though, and makes him pay. Good angle there from Mental from the south. That's going to buy a lot of time here. T1's getting absolutely roasted in the background to VLG. Wicked coming in, coming through the door. You can see Jeff Laka trying to escape this situation for T1, and he is not T1 going to do it. Done. T1 down in 15th. Struggles. Again, here for T1, it seems to be one of their off days as back over to Damwon and VSG. Foxy still down, bleeding out slowly but surely. Grenades up and over. We're seeing some of the rainbow bounces. That one just a little. Oof, I think that was a stun. That was a stun grenade. Yeah, bounces pretty high. Those stuns are made of rubber, I guess. That one really <laughs> went up there. Wowzers. <laughs> made out of rubber. But Hulk's going to find a good angle. Lands a couple bullets. But he's in a dangerous position, too. He's going to get a good knock onto Chris. And he wants to just relocate himself back into the compound. And he so much does that. Domlin's going to sacrifice Chris and just back out from this battle, most likely. And they're going to take a much of a beatdown left and right from Gen G's going to be shooting at them. And as they're going to be rotating in to the edge of the circle, there's OPGG waiting. Donama also waiting as well. So Rang just holding onto the ditch across the street. Korn gets to park his vehicle inside, but Rang almost spotted out Doya there. So that was a dangerous moment right there. You'd expect them to make these kind of rotations. EM is trying to work something along the side of this. Uh, Lash is going to have to get the, on the back of a motorcycle. They're actually going to dive out into the blue. I think they're going to try to come from the mountain that's on the northwestern part of this circle uh, over kind of by where Gen.G was. Aqua 5 has stopped, though, as Danawa as well, putting some shots into EM as they cross through. EM's got to be super careful because they were taking some blue on top of all the of motorcycle this. Motorcycle bouncing. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
The others have angles from Gen G. They are pouring it down. Kinch immediately smokes come out. Are they going to be able to get that revive? He is almost dead. One more shot. It's going to be Loki who's going to secure it. Element Mystic one down, and Genji has a nice surround and has all the information on where they are. So the downside of motorcycles, if it was a normal vehicle, then they would still have kept the momentum on the vehicle bounce, bouncing off the hills. But for motorcycles, you don't do that. Like mid air, it slows down very much, and mm. that just gave enough angle for Genji to take a shot. And now Griffin wants to send it towards APK's way. Netflix holding onto it, two part will just just get off the vehicle and try to rotate in. Netflix still holding onto the angle. He's going to be waiting, and he will spot out. That's oh. going to be two-tap out, but it's going to be Asura to come from behind and take the knock. Mixora will revenge that onto Asura. One knock and two knocks. Good oh. lane. Maxora, Absolutely incredible. The peak there. Just insane stuff from him. This guy is popping off right now. Three kills, five total for APK. He's going to come up. I mean, he's got two members of Griffin dead to rights. Griffin is down oh. and dusted. He gets some help here from EJ, from Afrika Freaks, and that is Griffin. Their late, late rotation's not pulling it out for them here on Miramar today. They are down early once again. Yeah, for now, OPGG just needs to lay low, try to wait this one out. The problem is, is a lot of teams are going to be interested in this real estate, and there isn't too much to work with. There's a few compounds here and there, but Gen G basically, if they play it right, can control that southwestern part of the circle very well and bounce a lot of teams uh, away from them. They should be able to deflect it, almost like they have a shield up like it's Star Trek, and everybody's firing their phasers at them, and you know, Genji's just like, oh, whatever. Oh, no, VSG, oh. Miha won. Miha's looking for two. He so almost, close! Almost gets it. What a spray. He should have... I feel like he should have just been given that because of how Plus well he predicted one HP. it. I know, one If HP. that was an M4... Maybe. I, th I think... I don't know for sure the damage. I don't remember if it's exactly the same, but Hulk here... Oh my goodness, they are, VSG nades. is in a ton of trouble. They are backing up. Grenade, this grenade could be really, really good. Everybody is boxed in here for Farm PC out in the outer God Complex situation. It is grenades oh. coming through. Oh. oh, I don't even know what's going on. There's grenades oh. exploding everywhere, but nobody's been knocked. This is crazy. That was like five stuns, apparently. No <laughs> made, so Farm PC on the push area. Yeva looking to peek out. Americano will knock off Foxy with that molly. And that will open things up. Yeah, Yeva on the push. He peeks out. Doesn't find anybody. But he is aware that VSG players are somewhere. He finds a good angle. He might be spotting a player outside. That's going to be Hawk. He's going to spot... Place down a smoke to hold off the angle. He comes out. Yeah, even jumping. We'll find the knock onto Hulk, and that's going to be VSG out from the game. <laughs> Just, I mean, it was. <laughs> That was really out. a really funny moment there for Yaya. I mean, he just hip-fired off of it and just got it. As these teams want to just rotate in, La Vega is going to be sneaking up behind Gen G. And does Pio spot this out? He will find a tree to work with. And he peeks out and finds a good knock onto Sparrow. But he's going to be taken down to 21. So he's going to have to back off and heal up. But it looks like Sparrow will be down and dusted soon as the blue is zoning in. And Onyx from afar will Ooh. try go to go for the spray down. But it just won't connect. Yeah, he hit some bullets into the rock there. I Normally, I would say Anonix lands that spray, but looked like it was just a little bit too difficult. Are we going to be able to crawl into the circle in time? No. Sparrow ends up going down. So more points heading over towards Genji's way, and that's going to be Leclo getting a double on to La Vega, taking him down. Nine kills here once again. Soul is down, but this is a good round no matter what for MTech. They are providing a lot of firepower now. It looks like they've really spent a lot of time working with their coach behind the scenes to get more aggressive, kind of take advantage of the fact that they do have a lot of talent on their on their roster. But that's going to be Entis down and done at ninth place. So they won't be getting much points besides the kill points they had. But EM Tech with nine kills, nine huge kills once again. And there's more to come for them as they have still have three more mem three members alive. And we saw them beat down Quadra without Soul alive. So this is yet another round just like that on Aaron Gill, but this time on Miramar. All right, Farm PC now is outside of the new circle, so they've got a rough situation in front of them. It's nice to take that high ground, but you're going to have to cut across oh. a bunch of people. Alpaca is on point today. He easily takes down Miha. That's 10 kills for MTech so far. There's still eight teams left, 21 players, so a lot of these teams have already been beat up. Gen G still has four, though. MTech has three. Farm PC has three. EM has three. The rest are, I think Danawa might have three there as well. So it's just one for Damwon Gaming, two for VLG. Otherwise, OPGG still has their two hanging out in the circle. Rang's going to get corn, so it's going to be Damwon. 
down and out in eighth place, but they still get a placement point at least. As here we go, we're gonna try it again. Didn't work the first time, and not, didn't work the second time. Uh, yeah, and it's not <laughs> gonna happen again. Now, Americano goes down before he can even get anything started. But Cross will find a nice knock on Spear, and Peel's gonna come around and take a knock on the draft. So EM Tech's gonna be suffering as well. All of these teams clashing as the rotations must happen as there are only 50 seconds left for the blue zone to just finish and fully send it in. Rain's gonna find knock, on, knock back onto cross. So Farm PC with just a single member alive. And that will be Ayeva. Uh, what more he could do as he's still outside the circle and there's two teams just zoning and trying to hold off and gatekeep teams from moving in. Yeah, finally OPGG is able to get that knock and kill onto EM. Aqua 5 finishes draft for Genji, another point in the bag for them. And it is VLG, they found a little bit of a ditch here over on the eastern edge of the circle as they try to keep uh, Danawa Gaming from encroaching on their territory. Rang should just run ahead of that grenade. Nice job by Rang there. Gonna throw a stun up and over, trying to buy END some time, but nice. Spear is there. Nobody realized from Danawa somebody was that far over on their right-hand side. Now it's Yayava trying to steal a kill. He does steal it onto END. Nice job by Yayava picking up extra points. That PO, he's finding EM members and he should be finishing EM members. Kira V should go down here any second. Back on Yayava. He's doing a good job making it rain on top of him, but Layclo comes up behind and that's going to force him to change his direction just a bit. But yeah, Yeva, he has a full health and a bunch of boost up his way, so he can make this happen. He sees the head of Leclo peeking out. He won't suffer from any damage as well, so he's going to take out that AK, which could be very huge coming into a one-on-one -on -one close combat situation. AK versus AK. AK versus AK. That is a big thing, and Leclo lands a couple more bullets, but yeah, Yeva! is going to find the headshot onto Leclo, and that's what AKs are for. Yayeva goes out from Alfeka, but he steals, finally takes the kill onto Leclo, farm PC with eight great kills out of sixth place. Very, very great performance, I would say. Yeah. Oh, definitely an impressive performance from him. I love to see him pop off. Excellent job as the solo for farm PC, getting them a lot of needed points. They're still somewhat in the conversation. But either way, it's going to be a hard rotation as VLG will be holding on to the edge of the circle to gatekeep any players coming in. Makne, the last player alive for Element Mystic. <clears throat> and we shouldn't be sleeping on this guy as well. We've seen him as a solo pick off like five kills on Aaron Gill, Miramar as well. Dave is going to peek out. Alfek is down and done. EM Tech out at fifth place, but great performance. 11 good kills. Peel finds a kill onto Makne, so Element Mystic will be down and done at fourth place as well. That leaves four members of Gen G. Two members of VLG and two members for OPGG, and the circle is very, very bright towards Genji once again. Yeah, Genji's waiting to see here what these other teams are going to do. They've got four. They've got a compound. They're pretty well centered on the on this circle. So Loki has pushed up forward as far as he can uh, in their compound, and now it's just the, up to the rest of Genji to watch Oof. these side angles. Got to be careful there, Aqua Five. But Anonix comes up, gets int. He is going to go down. Ao Ayo, is Ayo just pulls able it off to get that first aid off. I don't know if he has an enough time for another one. This circle just chunks way too hard. So it's going to come down to VLG and Gen G as VLG up on the hill. But the center of this circle is off of them. So they have to push down. Do they have any smokes? What kind of utility they have? Deva, if he can get a knock or two on the side, that could open up the door for a spear, but he's going to get backed off pretty quickly by Loki. There just isn't much they can do. Aqua 5's just going up, just getting the angle, trying to <laughs> find out where the rest of these guys are. But Genji so confident they are just going to come up and try to finish this. You got to be careful, though. Spear does have enough of an angle up there to back you off. So that's going to be Pio saying, okay, never mind. We, we got a little bit too hungry there as uh, it is going to be Aqua 5 holding the line. And uh, at this point, it's it's all but a done deal, barring some kind of huge mistake from Genji. Four versus two, and the center circle, center circle closer to you. It's going to be a hard game to make your mistake. Loki finds a headshot onto Spear. That's going to be a Winchester, too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Loki with the Winchester. It is going to be the win for Genji. Loki with some style points there at the end. Oh, my uh, goodness. <laughs> so I think Loki had a DMR, but he, Loki, wanted to use that Winchester. Uh, he probably had a compound. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with the puns, I'm sorry. But that Winchester definitely paid off. I'll say, what a headshot coming through.